Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. This is the Presser Polux 150-750 Newtonian Telescope. So I've been using this telescope over the past few years for capturing images of planets and for visual observations of uh, deep, deep sky objects. And in this video I would like to introduce this telescope to you. So if you're considering getting this telescope, this video will be really really helpful to you because in this video I would like to talk about the telescope itself, um, a few things you need to know, I would like to give you my final opinion about that telescope, and in this video we are going to photograph the Sun. So all that and everything right after the intro. This video is not sponsored, I'm not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself. Now I'd like to start by introducing the telescope itself to you. So this is actually a beginner telescope. I bought this telescope a few years ago to get into astrophotography. Currently I'm using a bigger telescope because I'm doing deep sky astrophotography, but currently I'm still using this kind of telescope for um, looking at deep sky objects and for observing the sun, the moon and uh, planets. But when observing the sun, always use a solar filter. Now we'd like to talk about the telescope itself. So the telescope that comes with this telescope is a Newtonian telescope. We have two mirrors, one in the back here and one in the front. It has a focal length of approximately 750 millimeters and an aperture of 150 millimeters, which means that um, the mirror built inside has a diameter of 15 centimeters. This entire telescope um, is on EQ3 mount. Something I really, really like about that telescope is um, the solar filter that comes with this kind of telescope. That's why I've decided to photograph the sun right now. And I'd like to show you the solar filter right now. So this is the solar filter that comes with this telescope. And um, this is something I really, really like about that telescope because when buying another telescope, for example, often there is no solar filter. And I think observing the sun is very, very great. And if you have that solar filter um, with this telescope, it's great because you do not have to buy this kind of solar filter. I would just like to show you how to attach the solar filter because we are, we are going to photograph the sun later on. You just have to remove this piece. And then you can just directly attach the solar filter to your telescope. And that's it. So it's very easy to attach that kind of solar filter. And now we are already ready to capture and observe the sun. But when, when observing the sun, always use a solar filter. That's very, very important. So that's a telescope in general. Later on, I would, I would like to use my Canon EOS 2000D for capturing um, the sun. But you can also use a smartphone adapter that comes with this telescope, which is something I really like about the telescope as well. Before uh, photographing the sun, I would like to give you my, my opinion about that kind of telescope. So as we mentioned, um, I really like about the telescope that this telescope comes with a solar filter and with the smartphone adapter. So when buying this telescope, you are already ready to capture the sun, the moon and the planets. Um, this, this is something I really like about that. Although there are a lot of advantages of this kind of telescope, there are also a few disadvantages I would like to talk about right now. Um, the biggest disadvantage of this kind of telescope is definitely the mount. So when only attaching the Newtonian telescope on that mount, it's already a bit too heavy. So you can see it's just moving when touching it a bit. So especially if it's windy, it's very hard to get um, very sharp images and videos of the sun, for example. But if it's not that windy, it's not that big problem, but still I would like to mention it because um, that is something that's very important to know. Still, this telescope, so the optical component is very, very great. I have already attached this kind of telescope to my uh, Gochi mount and I've, t I've captured deep sky objects with this kind of telescope on my, on my HEQ5 Pro Gochi mount, uh, which shows that this telescope, so the optical component, um, is actually fantastic. Um, so the image you're currently seeing uh, is this is the Pinwheel Galaxy, also known as M101. I captured this image with this kind of telescope, 4 hours of total exposure time, which shows that the optical component is actually fantastic. So if you would like to dive a little bit deeper into astrophotography and astronomy, you can replace the mount later on as well by buying an EQ5 mount, for example. And so there are a lot of chances you have when buying this telescope. So if you like that hobby, you can definitely upgrade this telescope by replacing the mount. Right now there are a few clouds and it's a bit windy, so I hope that this will not be a problem but still would like to uh, get a very good video and later on I would like to stack this video in order to get a very detailed image of the sun. Right now there is a lot of solar activity, so a few weeks ago I was even able to see northern lights from here, um, so the image you're currently seeing was captured with my Canon EOS 2000D. So 
You can see there's a lot of solar activity which results in a lot of sunspots, and that's why I've decided to capture the sun today with this kind of telescope. I have already made a video about that kind of telescope a few months ago, but in this video I would like to capture the sun as I already mentioned. Now we have to wait until the clouds will go away and then we can start imaging the sun. Um, I hope everything goes away and we are able to photograph the sun. So I have now pointed the telescope towards the sun. So the video you are currently seeing is a live video of the sun. So this is the video I'm currently capturing with my Canon EOS 2000D. So you can see a lot of sunspots on the sun right now and you can see that it's a very sharp image. Um, so you can see that this telescope can capture fantastic images. You can see that the sun is moving a bit in the framing of my video. That's because it's still a bit windy and um, as I already mentioned, the mount is not that great, um, especially if it's a bit windy. So, um, but still you can see that you can capture fantastic videos and images of the sun and even of other objects such as the moon or planets. As you have already seen a few minutes ago, um, the sun looks great through this telescope. Right now there are a few clouds in front of the sun, so now we have to wait for a few minutes and then I would like to image the sun once again and hopefully we get even better images. So in summary, I really think that this telescope is great, especially for beginners. So when you get this telescope, you can directly set it up and get your first steps into astrophotography because everything you have is integrated in the telescope. You only have to attach your smartphone to the telescope and you can directly start uh, capturing the sun, the moon and planets and you can even observe deep sky objects. So for example, the Andromeda galaxy, a few star clusters, and it definitely makes so much fun observing the night sky with this telescope, but always use a solar filter when you've been observing the sun with this telescope. That's very, very important. Um, so if you have any more questions about that kind of telescope, definitely feel free to write that questions down below in the comments. I'm definitely going to help you. If you have any ideas for objects you would like to see through a telescope, write these, then feel free to write these objects down below in the comments and then I'm going to do a video about that object and I would like to photograph uh, this object with this telescope and I would like to do a video about that. So if you have any ideas, feel free to write that down below in the comments. Otherwise, uh, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time, clear skies, Felix.